welcome back. It's been a couple of days since my last video. Just trying to keep it going, trying to film as much as possible. But as I said on my last video, I ruined the last check valve and I also had a leaky Y block. So I got my new AM check valve fitting and I got a Y block eBay. These are really nice pieces. I mean, they say it's billet aluminum, who knows, but this is a really nice piece to have, especially when you're running two pumps like me, whether you're running them together or staged two, and then it goes into one. You can either get like two tens and a 10 or two eights and a 10 or two eights and one eight. It all depends your setup. So you can get it however you like it, but it's a nice piece for the money. It just makes things real cleaner. You don't have to buy a bunch of line and tee them together. You just use this and that's it. And then the feed line goes all the way up. Definitely a nice piece, but I'm going to throw this one real quick. Uh, all the charge piping is currently getting welded right now. So hopefully should have that back soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later today. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, let's get this video started. You guys definitely want to get a pair of these AN wrenches. They're lifesavers. They're aluminum, so it doesn't scratch your fittings all up. It's direct size. Definitely, definitely get a set of these. Ready to smell like E85, I guess. As you can see, no good. New one, old one. So this is the old post filter and here's the new one. <laughs> This is just the Amazon Chinese evil energy one. All the reviews were really good, so we'll see how good it works. All right, guys, finished product. New post filter, new Y block, new check valves. And also I rerouted the sump lines. I know everybody was talking about the big loops. Hopefully this does a little better. It's just some push lock real short, straight to the point. Hopefully it all does better. Well, after a day and a few baths to get all the ethanol off my body, we have our charge pipes back, all welded into one piece, just how I wanted it, how I've always wanted it. The coupler thing was always just a temporary thing, just to get everything how I wanted it. And I knew eventually I wanted to get it welded into one piece, just for simplicity and you know less boost leaks. I don't have the ugly couplers. I hate the way they look. So I'm pretty happy with it for being such a thin aluminum. The welds turned out really good. I had to get a new bong for the IET sensor, which no big deal, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to throw a coat of paint on this before I throw them on the car just to make them all pretty. And uh, also a thanks to my dad because he helped me out a lot with this. He got a friend of his to weld it for me for nothing. So he can't be more happy with that. I'm going to paint it real quick and then we'll throw it on the car. So literally all I'm using to paint this aluminum charge piping is scotch Bright to scuff it up since it was already black. Dupla color, engine enamel primer. 
engine enamel black, gloss black, engine enamel clear coat. That's all I'm using. This isn't a show car, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to look a little decent. Real quick, if you're in the market for any fuel line, fuel fittings, catch cans, uh, any fuel component, some clothes, some stickers, anything, go check out Shipbox Supplies and use my promo code BEMOREFOX to get a little discount. Thank you, I appreciate it. everything all primed I'm trying to beat the rain so I'm gonna lay on some black real quick It ain't perfect, but it'll do. Did about three coats of black, about three coats of clear. This it. it's not a show car, but hey, it looks better than it did. That's all that matters. All right, guys, there it is. Actually looks really good painted for some rattle can and hardly no prep. I mean, it's got spots, but I don't care as long as it's all one color. It's cool with me. All one piece. How I always wanted it. No more ugly couplers. And I only have one right there and one right there. I should get the little HD clamps like Kevin has, but that's a little too rich for my blood. That's, that's that fancy stuff. Kevin's turning that Fairmont into a Pro Mod. But yeah, guys, pretty happy about it. I'm going to cut the video off right here. I guess it's going to be a part three of getting it started. Trying to get the boost building on the brake. And see if we can't get it dialed in. Now, only thing left is put the front end on, finish the interior. And I think we'll be ready to get everything squared away and start to make some passes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on part three.